Good morning, friends. It's Kara here with Kinsley's Creative Palette. And guys, I am finally finishing up this big, um, what did we call it last week? We called it like, I don't want to say rustic. Maybe it was rustic. But we, we painted this part last week on the back side of this. And ooh, it looks like somebody said something on there. Um, I'm finishing it up today. I never made it to Hobby Lobby. Um, last week to get greenery and I thought well I'll go this morning but I've had other things going on and so I just decided to rob my craft Christmas craft stuff and pull some off of this wreath I know not terrible good morning so if you are on our email list you probably found out this morning that our virtual paint party opened back up. Hey, Anna. Hey, Mary. So both Mary and Anna, who are on right now, are part of our group. We have a ton of fun. And we just wanted to do one quick opening before Christmas in case you wanted to tell your family to give you an experience this year instead of, you know, a new toaster. Um, so right now, I am loading my staple gun with quarter inch um, staples. Okay, can y'all see these? I am a little bit shaky this morning. And guys, check out these nails. These are Color Street. Can y'all see? Got a reindeer and um, Christmas lights and then some red glimmer. Oh my gosh. So when I can't get to the salon to get my nails done, this is like the next best thing for me. So anyway, if you haven't tried them, I endorse, I endorse them. I can send you to my girl. Okay, so I found this in my stash, but I didn't necessarily like the way it looks and how long it was, so I decided, hey Kimberly, good morning. Kimberly's also in our virtual paint party. Um, all right, so I'm gonna cut some of this off. Actually, let's see, one, two, gonna be it's gonna be a little bit lopsided but that's okay doesn't have to be completely symmetrical oh man thank you Mary you're so sweet I need to dye it like terribly it's really funny cuz um guys I'm, I'm about to tell y'all mama secrets I started going gray when I was 16 yeah I did <laughs> good I'm glad Kimberly I'm glad I could could entertain you in the doctor's office this morning um but I started going gray when I turned 16 and I am a hundred percent gray now yeah I am so all this color that you see on my hair it's not real but I'm not gonna be 39 years old and a hundred percent gray I mean if you choose to do that that's totally fine it's just not what I wanted <laughs> so so yeah there's um it's really funny because my hairdresser, when I first started going to her, sorry, this is hard to cut. She, um, she was like, man, your hair is so coarse. And after a while, she's like, I think it's because it's all gray. Anna, kindred spirits. I mean, it kind of sucks. It does kind of suck. But at the same time, um, I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> Are you, Mary, do you not believe me? Because, um. I'll do a, a private live with you and I'll show you in the mirror when I pull my hair apart what it looks like. <laughs> so that's a funny conversation. Um, but what I really got on to tell you all today is that our virtual paint party is open and guys, we have so much fun in there. And I would love to have you join us. You can, it's only $19 a month and we do at least one project a month, sometimes two. Um, the last few months we've had some fun bonuses and I just seriously love to love on my people. So um, if you wanna join us, there's a post, you can read all about it. Um, I'm tearing this wreath apart this morning because I did not go get greenery to finish my <clears throat> ornament that we started last week. Dude, this is tough. So I'm cutting a wreath up. Mary says her dad is gray at 30. Girl, I hear you. I mean, it's just, 
I had um one of my friends, Lisa. Robin, I know. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, let's do a party. Let's do a party tier for Robin. We are so stinking excited that you joined us, Robin. And um, I've already put you in the private group. Um, but if you will look through the post, there's a bonus this month, and it's something else that you get in addition to all the other fun stuff. And she got bonuses today because she joined before midnight. So, um, so check out that post and ask to be in that other group, and you'll get a whole nother template this month and a whole nother group to be a part of. So you are so welcome. All right, I'm gonna staple this on. I'm trying to figure out how exactly I want to do this. I may have to do like several staples because I don't want to like staple through my fingers. But I'm going to do, let's see, I'm trying to see how I can, yeah, like that. Okay, so I'm going to do it right underneath the black part. And I've got my quarter inch staples. Oh, I'm going to do that. But then I also need to staple this piece down. Oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Renee Long and her friend Terry, welcome this morning. I'm tearing a wreath apart so that I could add some greenery to my sign because I haven't made it to Hobby Lobby. Guys, this is like one of my favorite weeks of the year. Um, not just because we're getting closer to Christmas, but it is my husband and my son's birthday. Like, how many people get to say they had their son on their husband's birthday and so today when I jump off live I am going birthday shopping and I can't wait I can't wait my um it's funny how similar these two are like my my son is just like a mini mini Vince okay I gotta figure out how to do this because it's not letting me staple through it's a little bit too much so let me see if I can move this over. You know, sometimes we just have to like work with it for a while. But I really want this piece on there. Oh yes, so Connie that's on here right now, she is my aunt. She lives in Texas. And she had her son on her husband's birthday. Um, Mary, my weekend went good. I had a little bit of a disappointment. Um, but overall, it was really good. We had a lot of kids in the studio for the third year in the row um, and it was just it's so fun they're like Miss Kara we can't wait to see you next year and I just it's so fun so okay friends let me show y'all this is one side y'all see that now ignore the middle because there's gonna be a big poofy bow right there hey Wendy Wendy I'm sorry Wanda hey Wanda welcome why do you not hot glue um, because I don't have the patience. No, really, because, um, this way I know it's going to stay and I don't have to wait before I move on to the next and like wait for it to cool. So I just prefer a, a, a um, staple gun, but any way you want to do it works. Okay. So next I'm going to put this piece down. Thank you. And we're going to go the opposite way. Now, I want it to be about, like, I want the stuff to come out about the same length. Let's see. So, I just need to measure. Well, I'm not really going to measure. I'm just going to eyeball it. And then I'm going to, uh-oh, that one didn't work. Okay. Nope, that one's not going to work for me. I need to get a flatter area. It's too round have to do it up here. Okay, and then I'm going to get this piece and put it in there. I've got to kind of move these things apart. So, I had um I had some questions about the virtual paint party and I wanted to jump on an answer. So, we do one project a month. You get one digital template a month or if you purchase the sign option, I mail you a sign. If you sign up for the year, you actually get two free months, which is kind of awesome. So, um, that's obviously the best value is if you sign up for the whole year. And I tried to, if you, if 
you do that and you get the sign mailed to you, I try to send a couple of your signs ahead of time so you get a sneak peek of what's coming. So anyone who is a yearly member, if they got their signs in the mail this week, um, they got to see what's coming up. Um, this month we had, or we're, we did, or we're doing, I should say, um, this sign. Painted it live last week, so it's already up in your membership vault. There are 30 signs. 30. I couldn't believe it when I counted this morning. There are 30 projects in there that you get instant access to. You don't have to wait. You just you get them as soon as you join. Um, you create your member area or you create your member profile and we get you all plugged in. Okay, so let me, I'm just making a bow. My Christy's watching this morning. Probably while, she, while, she, while she's working away. All right, so I've got a big burlap. This is um, probably six inch burlap. And I just made sure it overlaps in the back. And then I'm gonna cut some other stuff. Look at this, it's so cute. Good morning, Miss Christy. All right, so I've got this, but then guys, okay, so I didn't know when I made this last week if I was gonna put any red on it, and then I decided yes, because I found these super cute berries. These used to be on our Christmas tree, and I've just kinda changed the theme, so it's different now. So I had these in my bin, and I thought that would be perfect. But I also found some ribbon that would go perfect with the buffalo plaid and the red and the berries. So I decided to do all three. So I've got my burlap. Now I'm gonna dovetail the ends of my, of this, which I'm just gonna put them together. Good morning, Elizabeth. Just gonna cut my corners. So now when I open it up, they're dovetailed. I'm gonna do both sides. I do them together because just, I mean, I'm all about saving time. Then I can do more crafting. Okay, so I've got the these two. I'm just gonna kind of set those across there. And then, look at this. Isn't that cute? Isn't it perfect? Hey, Sharon, good morning. Isn't this perfect to go with the red berries and the like rustic woodland? I think that's what we called it the other day. Now, this is not wired ribbon. Oh my gosh, look at the back. How cute. So I'm gonna use both sides. I'm gonna cut four pieces, I think. I'm gonna do, let's see about that. So in order to get them the same length, <laughs> I'm sharing, well, I just play. I mean, I just play until I get it the way I want it. In order to get them the same length, I just keep um, folding it over and then I cut once I have however many pieces I'm doing. So I've got four. And then I go back and I cut my loops on either side. It's raining today. Let's see, let me cut my loops and then I'm gonna put all four of these pieces together. Let's see if my scissors will go through it and dovetail them. Heck yeah, they will. Look at that. Look at that. Now I'm gonna do these. I'm gonna have to do this one a little bit shorter because I did one of the ribbon pieces was shorter on this end, so I had to cut a little bit more off. Okay, so now I have my four pieces, and I'm going to, I'm gonna put these on last. So I'm just going to take my fingers and just kind of pinch these together. All right, now this is wired, and you can put it on after you pinch the burlap if you want to. In this case, the middle's not really gonna matter because um, I'm gonna have this, this stuff in the middle. So I didn't worry about pinching that afterwards. Hey, Christy! Christy, did you see? Did you see we opened the virtual paint party this morning and we've already had two new people join us and I'm so stinking excited because you know what that means, Christy? You know what it means? It means that we have more people to have fun with. Guys, just makes me so excited. 
so stinking excited. Okay, so I'm just um, setting these on top of here. Guys, this is like really thick. I've got, oh, it's hard to get it all in your fingers. So I'm just trying to put, nope, I wanted this to show. Thank you, Sharon, for sprinkling the love. We're not allowed to say the S-H-A-R-E word. Um, and so that's what a lot of us crafters use is sprinkle. So I greatly appreciate it. All right. So there's our bow. Um, oh, no. You know what I did this weekend? Guys, give me just a second. I've got to find something. I took my twine next door. And so I'm going to have to find something else. Oh, you know what? I'll just use wire. I'll just use wire. Normally, if it's not this thick, like if my bow's not this this thick this direction, I use a zip tie, but sometimes it's just too thick. So, I'm going to use wire. These wire cutters don't, don't work very well. And that went flying. Tell me I'm not the only one who's a hot mess when they craft. Is it just me? I don't even know where that piece went. It took off. So let me get another one. Let me do it in my lap this time and maybe I can hold on to it. Okay. I didn't see a bunch of laugh faces, so I'm thinking y'all are the same way, right? Okay, so I'm just going to go over the top and I'm going to bring it around the back. And this wire that I use, whoops, I went through the wrong area. Let me try that again. Um, this wire that I use, I'm going to put this right here so you can see it, comes from Harbor Freight and it's what I use to hang all of my signs. Um, and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's like $8 for this huge roll and it lasts forever. Lasts forever. Okay. All right, friends, this is much easier with twine, but... It's going to work with ribbon. I mean, with wire. All right, so I've got it twisted. I'm going to pull them apart. Now I need to just kind of shape up my bow. I wanted two of the buffalo plaid on each side. Let's just do it just like that. All right, friends. See how cute that is? Now, when I put this on my board, if I want tails... One of the ways, one of the easy ways to achieve tails is at this point to cut another piece of ribbon or, um, yeah, well, and then scrunch it in the middle and put it along the back so that you can have tails. So let me show you how to do that. That way you don't have to do it all together. And then you could, you could put it in the wire, but it's, this bow is really thick. I'm just going to scrunch this up and then tilt it downward. And I um, I twisted mine around so it would lay flat. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna staple this to my board. Uh oh, what happened? It's not working. Too many layers. There we go. Y'all want to hear something super funny? Well, funny for it to me, it's family funny. Um, so my daughter, they have to do in middle school here, they have to do choir or band. And so she tried band last year, she wasn't dedicated at all, so we switched to choir. So she's doing choir again this year. And this morning, I broke the news to my son that on his birthday, Wednesday. We get to go to Kinsley's Choir concert. He was so excited. <laughs> All right, friends. Can y'all see that? Now, I'm going to put my I'm gonna, um, staple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move some of these top layers out of the way so that my burlap is right against my wood. I'm going to move my fingers out of the way. And then I'm going to staple. Okay. I'm going to do that on both sides. And I'm going to do it on the bottoms. Hey, hey, Kathy. Let's see. 
Um, that one didn't work. Let me do that again. It's funny if you don't I feel like with this staple gun, it may not be the best. But if I don't press down on the front, sometimes it doesn't work as well. Okay, so then let me put this one down. Where do I want it? I'm gonna go right here with this. All right. I love it. I hope y'all love it too. I still need to put my words on, but for now, how pretty is that? Guys, okay, so let me break this down for you for just a second. This was a $6.50 piece of wood from Hobby Lobby. This is one we did a few weeks ago. And then this is the other side. Um, I am going to write Merry Christmas on it, but I don't think I'm going to do that today. I may join y'all live another day this week and write Merry Christmas because I'm so excited. I need to go shop for my husband and my son and get all their presents wrapped we have um we have wrestling on tuesdays thank you christine tuesdays and friday thank you deanna um thank you Kay. we have wrestling on tuesdays and thursdays and then tomorrow or wednesday we have a choir concert and so tonight's really my only night and so i want to have them all done so that when they get home today their little presents are out and they can anticipate their birthdays <laughs> Renee, hi babe. Thank you. I guys seriously, I don't even I'm I think I'm gonna put words, but um I'm really loving it just the way it is. And y'all wanna see what's on my porch? I can walk y'all out and show you. Let me um let me unhook my phone. We'll just go hang it up because it just it goes so well. So let's go. Let's go on a field trip. If I can get my phone off of my little hook. Okay, I gotta find my shoes. I got house shoes because I like house shoes. Now, this already had, I'll show you, it already had the twine to hang it. Um, Y'all wanna see why I need to wrap? Do you see that? That's in my entryway. Okay, so let's come outside for just a second and let's hang it up. Ah, look how pretty! But check that out. How good does it go with our Believe sign? We painted this live, so if you missed it, you can go back and watch. And then we have either side would look good with it. But I'm kind of digging this whole, like, woodland rustic look. So, thank you all so much for joining me. I am headed to go buy some fun birthday presents. And, um... If you have questions about the virtual paint party, drop them below. There's so many of our virtual paint party members on here right now that would love to answer your questions. So I want to answer them too, but I know they would love to answer too. So y'all have a great day and I will see y'all probably tomorrow. Bye.